<clears throat> hey everybody good evening from arizona howdy people i'm doing a live stream i'm here in my hammock look at my hammock oh yeah i got a cigar a cohiba blue cigar that i bought today and i'm gonna smoke this let's arizona the evening away that's the theme of tonight's live stream. All right, let's Arizona the evening away. I'm got, I got my Pac-Man shirt. <laughs> I get so many comments about this shirt. And I've got my uh, prickly pear lamp that I'll turn on in just a little bit. All right, and I got my pottery here. I've been using this as a garbage, by the way. I toss garbage in there. And... Uh, my cigar. I'm going to smoke my cigar. I'm going to light it pretty soon here. Hello to all two people. Please comment. Please say hello. All right. I'm here in the hammock. I'm swaying. All right. And uh, oh, by the way, I've also have my uh, here. I've got my my uh, ceramic snake. Check out my snake. Isn't that amazing? Oh, yeah. Here, here. Look at it slithering. Hello to all three people. Hello to all four people. Hey, everybody, please comment. Please say hello. <clears throat> Tell me your location, okay? So here's my sneak. So I bought this a couple months ago. Look at it. She's so pretty. Is it a he or a she? I'm not sure. Or so, but look at that beautiful sneak. Talavera style, baby. All right, so let me get this back here. Zen Jammin Ultra, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Zen Jammin. I'm just relaxed in my hammock, and uh, I had a long work day. Uh, I, I uh, worked for eight hours. I saw eight clients, okay, eight therapeutic hours, and it was great work. But now I'm ready to unwind. And it's it, we hit 87 degrees today, 87 in Green Valley. So, and I think it was like 89 in Phoenix. <clears throat> so... Really warm. I think it was like 55 in Westcliff, which is warm for Westcliff, Colorado. So, but anyway, let me let me get my uh, cigar lit here. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is this is like a good cigar. I get this thing lit. It's it's kind of lit. Yeah, Zen Jammin, it was 60. That's so great. Hold on. I gotta light it some more. It's called Cohiba Blue. It's made in the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic, I believe. Really got to get this thing lit. <laughs> it's taking a while. Hold on, people. <laughs> I should play Not Too Shabbies. If I could hold this and play Not Too Shabbies and light my cigar, I'd do it at the same time. <clears throat> All right, let's try this again. All right, it's kind of lit. It's good enough. It's good enough. So how's everyone doing today? Zen, are you still around? Ultra? Hello to all three people watching. Please say hi. I'm up to 2,498 not-too-shabby videos. Yesterday, I made not-too-shabby number 2,498, and it was... Uh, my roommate's taco shells. Here it is. Okay, get the volume up. Here we go. It's a bag full of taco shells. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I also mixed in a couple of old ones 
into the playlist like a crying baby. It's a crying baby. <laughs> Not too shabby. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, a desert prince scene here. This is like summer of 2015. It's a framed print of a desert scene. Not too shabby. <laughs> so there you go. How's everyone doing? We're even going for five minutes. Hey, Tim O'Brien. Hey, Tim. Tim, where are, you're in Portland, Oregon. What are you doing there, man? Did you move there? You guys can kind of give me messages while I try to get this uh, cigar lit better. Remember, don't inhale with cigars. It's a good cigar, though. It's a good cigar, isn't it? I've got a story about this cigar. My gym owner, the guy who owns the CrossFit in Green Valley, he's a good guy. And then I train. he trains me, too. I pay him extra to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So the last time we worked out on Sunday, he was just telling me, yeah, I've got a smoke shop. I didn't even know he had a smoke shop. He was like, yeah, yeah. You know, he's like, I, ideally, I'd like to make my money helping people get healthier. But the reality is people want to smoke. So he started a, him and his wife started a, a smoke shop. So I was like, all right, Jay, I'll come down there. I'm going to buy a cigar for my next live stream. You know, because usually for my live streams, I go to the Circle K and I get the really cheap cigarillos. They're just really terrible cigars. So today I went down there and I bought this cigar and his his, uh, his daughter was was running the, the shop. So it's Cohiba Blue. Cohiba Blue. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. So, <laughs> hey, by the way, hey, the, the uh, hummingbird. Here. See the hummingbird? See it? It's on the other side. It's on the other side now. Come on, hummingbird. Come around. It's on the other side of the hummingbird feeder. Come on, baby. Any second, it's going to fly up. Maybe fly away. Come on. <laughs> it's still drinking. Do you see its tail? See its tail like below. I don't know if you can see it. Come on, hummingbird. <laughs> I hate when it's on the other side like that. So, let's see. Let's see, it's right there. It's still sitting there. Oh, Tim, you're visiting Portland, Oregon for work? Oh, my gosh. Zen Jamming, you think I have a great work ethic? Are you talking about my CrossFit, my exercising, or my uh, my job? <laughs> I did work kind of hard today. I saw eight people. So that's pretty impressive. So, yeah, yeah. By the way, if you're just tuning in, there's five people watching. Please say hello. When was the last time you were in Arizona? Um, tell me your favorite not too shabby. Tell me your favorite not too shabby, and I'll play it, and I'll give you the backstory, okay? By the way, the hummingbird is still there. Still the hummingbird. There, I just flew away. <laughs> it finally flew away. The, the problem with the hummingbirds are there's two of them in the neighborhood. In general, I think they're getting a little more used to me, but they always go on the opposite side of where I am. So it's hard to get a good picture of them. So what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? I'm just glad the day's kind of over and I'm just chilling out. And uh, by the way, I'm using this live stream to 
fix up my hair a little bit. <laughs> hey, what do you think about my pottery? Is that pretty? Lots of pottery there. But there's garbage in that one. There's garbage in that this one, red one. <laughs> they're, they're useful for putting garbage in them. So... Yes, and Janet, I really appreciate it, man. I appreciate the encouragement. You know, my YouTube channel, I'm just trying to have fun. I'm trying to have fun. The Sawaros of the day, the not too shabby videos, whatever else I can kind of come up with. You know, I'm very pleased with what I've created. Just trying to have some fun. Have I seen the hummingbird feeders that I hold and they sit on your finger? I don't know if I've seen them, but I've, I've heard that the hummingbirds will, if they really trust you and they're aggressive, they'll, they'll, they will land on you to, you know, to drink their nectar. So it is pretty neat. So I'm so happy. I got, all right, let me turn this on. Let me turn on the lamp. Okay. Get this lamp going. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so sore from my workouts. We were doing overhead squats. My shoulders are so sore from all my workouts. It's really bad. Oh, all right. Here we go. Isn't that nice? It's pretty modest. There's only two light bulbs in there. But when it gets really dark, it'll light up all the holes. You can kind of see. You know, it's a prickly pear lamp. It's really beautiful. It's really pretty. Tim, I'm not sure what to do for my 2500th not too shabby. I thought about having a celebration or making a special behind the scenes video. I, I might, but <clears throat> I like to keep, I had big celebrations for my 1000th. And my 2000s is not too shabby. So I don't know how I feel about 2500. I should make a big deal about it, you know? So <laughs> definitely when I hit 3000, we're going to have the biggest party you've ever seen. 3000, not too shabbies. Think about the all time, the best baseball hitters of all time you know, that have had 3,000 hits. Rod Carew, Ted Williams, you know, Wade Boggs, all those, Derek Jeter, George Brett, you know, 3,000 hits. You know, Ty Cobb and Pete Rose. And now, when I hit 3,000, you can say Steve Carew. I'll be... I'll be with those hallowed names as one of the greatest. Tony Gwynn, you know, he's in the 3,000 club. So I'm hoping someday I need 502 more to get into the 3,000 club. So, oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, my arms, <laughs> it's funny. Really, I'm not a muscles guy. I'm seriously not a muscle. I just want to be in shape. I want to try to be healthy. I want to feel good. But this CrossFit stuff, I mean, I actually have some muscle. <laughs> Usually my arms are really bony. They're still kind of bony, you know, but like I've got, I got some, you know. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see this month. Let's see. This is my left arm. That one doesn't look as good as this one. <laughs> really, I'm getting muscles. <laughs> now I know how, like, the narcissistic, you know, the high e, the big ego, they go, Hoo, and then they go. <laughs> it's really not that. It's it's kind of flabby, but seriously, I've been building muscle. It's pretty cool. It's just kind of a fun thing. So I highly recommend CrossFit. I do recommend it. So anyway, 
it's not just like, you know, usually when I go to a gym over the years, I just want a good, good workout. Usually I do cardio stuff. You know, you do the treadmill for 15, 20 minutes. Maybe you do the elliptical machine, 15, 20 minutes. I've done, you know, I've done some burpees throughout my life, but that's about it. And then I'm done. CrossFit's like, okay, that's the warm up, you know? Or cardio is okay. There's nothing wrong with cardio, but just do more, do exercises that focus on stamina and specific muscles and all this crazy stuff. So I'm not explaining it well. And then there is like strength training. I don't even think they call it weightlifting. They just call it strength, you know, strength training. So, so anyway, I'm just talking. We're going to Arizona the evening away, baby. Oh, yeah. So, Zen, how are you today? How are your goats? You have goats in uh, Gardner, Colorado, right? I, I think I'm, subs I'm subscribed to you. I'm disappointed that I haven't seen any videos of your land. You know what I mean? So, I want to see your homestead out there. 3,000 will have a not too shabby camp out and barbecue. Yeah, yeah. With native music, with powwow music going. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? I like your, Zen, I like what you're thinking, man. I, I like what you're thinking. So, oh, yeah. Remember, don't inhale with cigars. Don't inhale with cigars, all right? So Cohiba Blue, right there, baby. So it's all right. It's a good cigar. It's a good cigar. Ooh. So where is everybody? There's like three people watching now. Please click like, by the way. Please say hello. All right. <laughs> oh, you guys, man. Good times, man. Yeah, the goats are doing well. They're settling in. That's so cool that you have goats. It's a very like Western kind of thing. Rural, rural Western to have goats. You know, do you have horses? You need horses. Horses roaming free, you know, roaming the land. You know, you should take your horse and ride it into Walsenburg. You know, pick up your groceries and then ride your horse back. Wouldn't that be neat? That'd be really neat. Or just ride your horse into the town of Gardner and go to the bar. There's that one bar that is sometimes open. And, you know, have a beer and then ride, ride your horse back. Yeah, that's awesome, Zen. Just sell one or two of your Bitcoins. And you, you've got your horses, you know, and all the hay you need for your horses. Okay. Personally, I'm cheering for Litecoin. <laughs> I'm cheering for like, I'm a Litecoin guy. <laughs> anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, you guys, man. Hey, I'm going to go on Twitter and I'm going to invite my friends to come on here. All right. Oh, the hummingbird's back. Oh, darn it. It's on your side. The, the, the hummingbird's on the other side. What can I do? How can I get the... It's almost like I need a mirror behind the hummingbird. Here, I'll at least show you the hummingbird, Peter. You probably can't see it, but there is a hummingbird. Um, on the other side. Oh, there's a second one. There's two. Oh, the second one. <sighs> one was happily drinking. And then the second hummingbird was by that bush. And then it came up and it kind of scared the, I don't know if they're playing or flirting or fighting, but, you know, it kind of charged against the one and then they flew away together. 
So I don't know what that means in hummingbird language, but there you go. Hey, hey, wait, wait, it's another hummingbird. See the hummingbird? There it is. Oh, a little bit this way. Yes, yes, yes. Look at the hummingbird. There it is, baby. Oh, yeah. We love you, hummingbird. It's still kind of scared of me, but I hope it realizes that I'm the one that's feeding it that nectar. <laughs> Most fascinating bird. And it flew away. All right. That was good, though, wasn't it? That was really good. Hey, Paivi. Hey, buddy, we're just hanging out. I'm smoking my cigar. I've got my prickly pear lamp right here. All right. And I've got my Pac-Man shirt. We're just hanging out, talking about life. Just, we're going to Arizona the ing away. All right. So how's everyone doing? Paivi, what's your favorite not too shabby? And as he types that, I'm going to go on Twitter and I'm going to say, I am live streaming right now. Please join me and my friends. All right. Hopefully some, I'll, like Bob Burpee's due to come in. He's due to, I'll probably get a few people, hopefully. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Paivi, the French toast. French toast, not, not too shabby. I'll play that for you. Here we go. French toast, not too shabby. Here we go. All right, so here, here, here's the video, okay? This is your favorite not too shabby. It's French toast for breakfast. Not too shabby. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, the backstory on that was I was over at my friend Sarah's house, Sarah in Idaho. And I was just visiting and she made breakfast. So I was, I made like eight or nine. I only stayed with her and her family for like 24 hours. And I made nine or 10 not too shabbies in 24 hours. I was on a not too shabby rampage. And um, so she made me breakfast and I said, you know what? This is not too shabby. So here, here it is. Ooh, get off me, bug. Let's go. It's French toast for breakfast. Not too shabby. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Oh, yeah. I think there's like mosquitoes in Arizona. This is crazy. Got these little bugs flying on me. So they're flying on my arms here. Oh, yeah. Hey, I got this uh, lighter at Circle K. Circle, is that? Circle K, right there. Here, I'll show you the fire. 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 <laughs> fire.